Oh. Uh, you yell- you- normally you yell at me, so... I if, I was, if I was yelling at you, I would do it like this. Is Austin with you as well? Yes. Yeah, I'm over here. Cool. Hello! I'm the only one not there. I might- who knows, next year I might move. Who knows? <laughs> next year, which is in... A couple of days. A couple of days? I meant like... M my birthday, basically. <laughs> but okay. When I opened the fucking main menu to uh, Wildlands, uh, I legitimately got 24 notifications because I got the gold edition. So, Hi. so I just got 24 notifications, and a few of them were like, "Congratulations, challenge complete!" And I'm like, "I'm literally watching the intro cutscene. What did I do?" The vehicle part is next, bitch. I just love the, vehicle I part. love, I love the way he fucking says it. <laughs> the vehicle part is next. <laughs> <laughs> he says like he sounds like King Candy from Wreck It Ralph. Did someone say excellent? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Remember to discover all eight hundred eggs hidden throughout every world. Is it this whole story? Is it not true? Oh yeah, sure, sure. Unless oh, you want a secret ending. <laughs> Unless you don't care about seeing the secret ending. <laughs> all right, I guess I'll. Ten hours later. All right, got all eight hundred eggs. I'm gonna Give go. me that shit, bitch! Oh. You don't need that fucking shit no more, cause now you're an egg, motherfucker! No! <laughs> Alright. The vehicle path is next. <laughs> the vehicle path is next! Oh, hold on, I just need to break this crystal right now. It's gonna be something bad. I thought you were gonna say Christian. Don't you fucking dare, I need a good unit. So, we will- now we have three people rolling the dice, so it's, it's, got, it's not- just making sure that everyone knows I'm a fucking stack here. Yep. We'll just do a slight recap just to make sure everyone's caught up. Okay. We don't have to, because no one's were, was around, no one knows about what happened between us, Sparrow. <clears throat> what happened between us, Sparrow? Sparrow? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Fuck you, Fuck you, Fuck you, Fuck don't. Okay, uh, D and D time. Do you want me to start taking your phones? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I will. D and D psychic damage to your phone. <laughs> Where's the hammer? <laughs> the ban hammer is real, and it's coming for your phone. So, Austin, recap time. Don't talk to me about this. I have a terrible memory. All I remember is floating half. This may be enchanted. And what? <laughs> what? Oh, I remember now. Um, yeah, that's all I remember. Alright, I guess I'll do the I guess it'll be me from now on. I, well, you, so, it's it's your me. story at the end of the day. Yes, but but this is a different way. It allows it to be seen as a perception of the fucking characters rather than the storyteller. Well, I could Kill do it then. I remember. Ne uh, Antia nearly died like twice. Yeah, that was terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Hey, good thing I've got healing spells. Yeah, Roska and um, good old. Uh, I, I was on death's doorstep at least two times. Yeah, it was a bit. A bit uh, you all, you want? Okay, I'll I'll do it. But so at, at the beginning of last session, you all stood in front of the fucking the gates. I'll call it the uh, main capital of Still Bell. Yeah. I was a dick and turned into a bear. You turned to Horik did not know what the fuck to do, and it was just like, here's an idea, and got themselves restrained and gagged, so I weren't able to respond to anything or do anything. Sparrow, like, Antia, Roska, all like, basically, you fuck up anymore, we're gonna stab you in the fucking butt. We're all chaotic and neutral. We're the suicide okay. squad. <laughs> You you were then to, um, led into the scene of the, um, where Gromash the Wise was murdered, and discovered that there had been a lo loose flagstone that uncovered had a note in it, which no one has read yet. No, you all have not read that yet. <laughs> Surprise! I think Ros Roska read it and then just kind of like kept it to <laughs> himself. <laughs> no one has read now the note. Set fire to the note. entire party. <laughs> We do have a note. You have the note, but you have not read it. I will say at this point, Gulfang is probably um, re like reading that over as he is the Inquisitor. 
and is all, uh, is working with you guys and is like heading this inquisitive operation. After you investigated, you, you also found that the body may have been shifted before it was initially found. Thanks to Sparrow, Sparrow's in, um, instant investigation, and along and Sparrow, Sparrow and Roska also investigated the wardrobe and found a hidden, slyly made dagger in there in this shiftily, crumbly fucking furniture of a wardrobe. You are then all gathered up and taken to, to the morgue in a different place of town. Along the way, something seemed to upset Roska. No one was able to find out what, and he hasn't revealed it yet. And you're all in to the morgue where, uh, with the tiefling morgue doctor, I don't know the official term, so we'll just go with that, led them to the body of Grumash the Wise, where they saw that he had a deep cut along his throat, where the flesh around the cut was drained of color and blackness was left in the cut. And as they discovered that, they found that all the bodies in the morgue had sim similar marks into it, and they turned into zombies, fought the party. The party had a difficult time dealing with that many zombies, but came out up on top. Uh, Sparrow sort of just needed to um, breathe off the situation, sort of being overwhelmed with just zombies coming at him. Might have a feel of undead now, <laughs> not sure. That's up to Grey. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and Auntie Oku almost succumbed to injuries from undead, who might now also have a fear of undead. I don't know, they oh, didn't I'll really hit me. No, I, I won't Auntie have a fear. Not Porik, <laughs> Auntie ya you fucking... Porik was the way who did all the damage as well as Roska. Porik did... You think I Porik killed damage? one of them and that's it, as far as I remember. I killed two. Two, there no, you go. Yeah. No, Porik killed one in bear form and just basically was like pocket healing Antia. <laughs> yeah. And then they were gonna die. Yes. Yeah. Gulfang, Gulfang was going around killing all the zombies, and so was fucking Roska. Yeah. It was a and, good time. And Antia did did one v one one and eventually win. Yeah. Yes. Eventually. Yep. eventually. <laughs> Should have one v one the headless torso. Uh, after um after. Interrogating the tiefling, Roska and Gulfang seem to have some information. Not they haven't sh uh, again haven't sh quite shared it with the group yet. Okay. And uh, have and after investigating uh, the morgue a bit more, Gulfang gathered everyone in and everyone except for Sparrow who was off, you know, thinking and stuff. And gathered Porik and Antia in to uh, to their amaze found. A spider, something that seems like to be a regular spider, but they somehow miss how this spider had a human skull for its head, yeah. and it was to the size of a spider. So it was like a spider's, a spider-sized human skull head, where its head would be, with ember eyes. Okay. And Porik looked at it, said, fuck you, put it on the ground, stepped on it, and its skull seemed to just roll away. Aren't you? Sensing that this thing was going to some place, just started sprinting down trying to catch it, but this skull had unusual agility and just started leaping away and stuff. And at, as Antia was pursuing this skull, she noticed that uh, this house in the distance upon a hill with flagstones littered amongst like random patches of grass. And as she looked into it, she felt nothing but this uneasy tension from this place and tried to go to it. She reached the capital of this, uh, the um, main capital where all those orcs are. The orc. I know. Orc Citadel. There we go. That's the name for it. It's called the Orc Citadel now. Cool. It's canon. Okay. Well, you know what? a fear of fire. <laughs> Every time I put my hand on fire, it's like, oh god! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Every time you use fire. <laughs> well, the thing is, pirates already use fire, and so, so it's really you really can't unless she captures herself on fire. And I think that's more she would have a fear of herself. So, I have a fear of rats. Turn to rat, just slap myself. Like that. 
as Antia reached the Orc Citadel laid on the out, near the outside of the um, walls of the city, she noticed that this ha uh, house upon a hill that she thought was in the city was out of the city and uh, um, pulled out her map with as Porik by her side. They both discovered that there's some magic aura around this place, making it seem like it is in the city, but it there's as they discovered there's no place for it to be in the city. So there magical might magical floaty boy. Some magical and aura around this place making it seem like it's where where it's not. Magical floaty boy wins. Yeah. So as you all uh, as Gulfang says we're gonna stay at the uh, uh, and tavern tonight. Porik sort of swims a bit as he mentions the name of the mysterious dwarf, <laughs> and uh, no one else in the party quite knows. They all all they know is that Porik has had a confrontation with a dwarf and it almost burnt down his building. Yeah. No one knows what building it is, so no, no one's like. Ugh. Okay. So. Good. So, everyone except for Sparrow is heading over to the the um mysterious dwarf. You already, remember you already had a camera, so you recovered everything. Making sure we all do that. He does. You guys are at in front of the mysterious oh, dwarf. <laughs> so, what would I? Roscoe would probably just be like, um, like getting everyone in, and just be like, come on, let's get in here. Like, as quick as possible, one girl's things like, yes, I just want to rest this off, and he, he points to Rusk and says, we'll discuss things and we'll see how we can break it down to everyone. What would Porik and Antia be doing? Uh, uh, we are not waiting on the mysterious door. You are in front of the doors of the mysterious door. Uh, I would look around for some sort of, uh, chalk or something to hide my face. Oh, so some sort of, like, cloak or yeah. something? Yeah. Uh, if you roll a one, does he try and go inside my hood or something? Uh, yeah. Action check, it's plus four. Nat one! Oh my f- no. I Don't do it. Nat one! You find some cow shit on the ground. <laughs> I decided to wear the ragged trousers I stole from that guy. Oh. You stole trousers? Yeah. Yeah, I stole yeah. trousers. In the Iron Banner, there was that guy that had the one tra the trousers with one trouser leg where the other one was ripped off and wearing nothing and was beat oh, I up. I thought you stole its leg. I didn't think no, I stole the No, he stole, he stole the pants because the guy was just... the pockets. It could be gold in there. So, uh, uh, that would be like an investigation check. That's you're plus trying. three, I think. Yeah. yeah. I'll say you, because you own it, you're you giving enough time has... with advantage. <laughs> Not one. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, hold um, on, let me just update you the You find a scorpion. You're fucking shithouse. Yeah, that's what I already said. All my rollings will end in that one. Yeah, roll again. That's three, twelve. I'll say, uh, there's like three gold in the pocket. No, that's good. Yeah. It's it's now you have more gold than you started out with. I already did, I had six gold. Oh, yeah, I know that, but really? <laughs> what really? really? Dude. From seducing some random guard and getting three gold from that guy. So I'll just for now I'm just putting down nine in nine GP and I'll be getting rid of the uh, the six gold pieces. Yep. So that way it's easier to manage. Okay. So yeah. Find three gold and there's a picture of this guy. Where where is he? He still looks the same, but he's with. A wife, what oh, seems no. to be a wife, and two children, <laughs> and they look like they're having a happy, merry time. They're like all in front of like some sort of building. Is there an address on this card? No. Damn. Do I know this? Uh, what is your set three. show? Plus three. Yeah. Nat 20! Oh my oh, fucking shit. god. I see all! <laughs> Yeah, you cl you clearly see just oh, I'm fucking. Hey, hi! Grabs you by your head. <laughs> you feel a giant hand grab you by the. Do you have a figure but of you, me? You clearly you clearly see that Hark 
uh, has these mochi trousers in hand and discovers uh, a photo of this guy wearing these, mo it seems like mochi trousers with uh, two children and a woman you could assume to be his wife in front of a building and they all look happy and three gold pieces. I, I po poke him in the shoulder and point at it questioning questioningly. <laughs> I stole this. <laughs> Straight up, I stole these. I actually had a deception. Oh. <laughs> Face pop. Oh. <laughs> oh, so I punch him in the stomach as hard as I can. In the same position. Face pump. Okay, so you're telling the truth. How is this a deception? How? Uh, persuasion. <laughs> Pers How is this persuasion? I, uh, smile slyly and laugh, and then just say it's Jared. Oh. That one. <laughs> Roll persuasion! Uh, wouldn't it be deception? Either one's negative one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's lying! I punch him as hard as I can in the stomach. Without my knuckle well, dusters. As in that- Why we would you do that for stealing? <laughs> It's a crime. Because she's sort of like, I'm Batman. Yeah, I'm I the Batman. Yeah, I, I, can, I, also just, I also think I'm stabbing someone as I work for stealing. I, uh, no, no, I'm punching him. I'm, oh, yeah, I'm Punisher. Yeah, I don't ride the anti push punch me with one gold. You don't have to. I'm pretty sure you can. I want to! <laughs> Alright! <laughs> no, 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 I. It's not worth idea, it. Whatever, it's not worth it. I shrug it off. <laughs> no, no. You can say, I punch her, roll play. Or if you want to say, I want to hit her, I will roll to hit. So do you just want to punch her? Just a light punch. Yeah, you get you get punched in the su stomach. It hurts. So you go, Ugh! Just lightly. Do you want to roll inside? Uh, no. Why not? <laughs> okay, no. I might as well, because I got plus three. Now watch as I get another one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what the fuck? Wow. <laughs> Deneb needs to praise you. Yeah, I got a one. Yeah, I think the lip's gonna be busy. I think Deneb needs to, <laughs> to intervene here. <laughs> You're on plus eight for Deneb! <laughs> <laughs> I think he needs a little interference here. I am the worst at dice rolls. But his fortune favors what you're doing. <laughs> what, well, he's about balancing the scale, so he's not going to be like, here, have a nuke. <laughs> <laughs> here like, you go, Gandhi. Uh, uh, yeah. Bingo ones in a roll. Yeah, I'd, I'd say you cannot me. tell shit. If, if this sort of came out of nowhere for you, I don't so care. You, you don't know why she punched you. Think she's friendly, Make the connection that it's because you stole something. Yeah, no, it's a nut one. Oh, never mind. I then. don't know shit. Never mind then. Yeah. I would like to put the trousers on my head and try to sneak in stealthily. Does he take What's damage? <laughs> plus three. It's plus three. Oh, she can probably do it. <laughs> now I am. It's not. It's not a natural environment before. Oh yeah. Well, it's what? not a natural environment, but I'm pretty sure a tavern would be dark. It's near night time, so yeah, it's pretty dark. So I get a slight bonus, or no? I will say you get a slight bonus. I just walk in Frosco, okay. if he's walking in. You're, I will say your face is concealed, but your clothes is... You're wearing the armor, not the clothes. Actually, I'm wearing... Oh. You're wearing the armor, not the clothes, so you might be able to get in, dude. And I'm wearing different clothes anyway. I'll, I'll roll. <laughs> I rolled a one again, if you wanted to know. Wow. Legit, you rolled another nat one. Deneb, please! <laughs> so, uh, well, I'm going with my roll, which is 15 plus 3, add plus bonus to 52, so you get an unnatural 20. Yeah, you're able to just see, as soon as the tavern doors open, you just like, like a shadow in there. No. I'll roll perception for the barkeep. <laughs> nat one! <laughs> Nice. He doesn't even know that the fucking door's open. <laughs> Didn't I call this? That, like, the first thing I rolled before we even started, I said, I rolled a one, and I'm just like, this is our luck for tonight. And so uh, far, it's he my also luck. has, like, the hand helping. 
Fourteen. Okay, yeah. The, the hand notices that the door goes open. Doesn't notice you though. Okay. So he notices that there's big dragonborn there. Chainmail. Uh, <laughs> uh, what Roska? Yeah, well, like leads leads out in the building. I'll oh, hold on. I gotta roll for Roska and Ghoul's thing. Are you? Are... I really hard. I, I'm all for it, but like this will be an uh, act of God if I actually see this. <laughs> so, so basically. Uh, Antia, Roscoe, and I, Wolfang, I you're wanted, all the roll. I what? Yeah, What's your three. perception do, plus three? Plus three. I wanted to roll to see if I wondered why he went stealth in the first place. Well, the, sec the second they start stealthing, you're, you're going to body language, and then they're gone. <laughs> what? As soon as the door opens, they're, they're through, and then you cannot find them. Am I suspicious? That's your character. Yes, That's what yes you. I am. So, I walk so in silently You feel Oscar. suspicion over that? Yep. Actually, what's your intelligence mod? Plus one. Plus one? Uh, you vaguely remember the uh, dwarf from earlier being mad at Porik? Mm. That's all that you, that, that you can tell. Okay. I'll keep that in mind anyway. I'll walk in with Roscoe. I'll just follow him. Oh, I gotta roll Perception! Perception! Plus three. No, for um, the other two. Oh, okay. uh, if you're doing it as well. Plus I'll three. Not 20! Uh, wow. You. This is for Gulfang, though. Oh. So, Gulfang. You notice that Gulfang. Has this stern look, and you can notice that he's able to follow you, even though you that you're stealthing, like <laughs> the with trousers. these trousers on top, because <laughs> they're a bit dirty. You, it's kind of flopping around. No one seems to be paying notice. It's just like, oh, it's just some weird person. They it's sort of not taking notice. Honestly, I would have wanted to see what happens since I did roll that nat one. If I tried to sneak into his trousers, and a fucking ghoul thing's just like. He's shaking his head, like, as he's looking at you, he's shaking his head. Oh, thing, I Uh... Roscoe's just... Nah, doesn't notice you. He's got... his focus. Uh, aren't you... You, you do, like, things shake around, but you can't tell who's doing it. Okay. Oh, it's a good thing. I'd be, be like, how the hell is he getting away with this with trousers? <laughs> yeah, he's also got, like, one arm open like this, you how the hell? <laughs> like, how is she doing this? Uh, and Roska and Gulfang go up, and in uh, Antia, I'm guessing you're going up with them. Yeah. Uh, the, and so, this tavern owner is this dwarf with an eye patch over one eye, and he's got a bit like. He looks like he's been punched quite a bit. No. Oh. And he's like. Oh, hello! I didn't notice you opened the door. My shooting's been going off lately. Um, I've already been letting in quite a breeze. Uh, uh, Jimmy, shut the door, please. Um, so, what? I'm guessing you would like some rooms as it is getting quite dark. And, like, uh, Gulfang and Roscoe's are like, yep. I nod. I have negative one persuasion, and my luck currently has been giving me where, ne uh, one. Where, <coughs> where is Porik? I know, I know she's stealthed, but where stealthed? I imagined like under, okay. under a table. Oh, sorry, table. under a table. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I nod my head to the guy. Well, I will say the layout of the room is like, it's like you enter. It's sort of a square, sort of enter entry to bit, and then it's got. Somewhat of a corridor, not a really long one. It's like a ten-foot corridor okay. that then leads out into a wider area that does have like tables and stuff on there where people are enjoying drinks. And then in in the back of that room, there's like stairs that go up okay. into like your rooms and everything. Okay. And parks in the in the dining area, just under a table, under a how many races are there? I don't know. Roll a dice for how many people? No, how many races? Seven. Seven. We'll do... De Hondo! Oh no. <laughs> it's just like one giant table under people. 87. It's just some human guy. Sort of like... It's only one person? Yeah, it's, it's just a small... It's just like a human guy. He, he, from what you've heard, because he doesn't know that you're there, he's sort of down on his luck and he's like drinking away his sorrows. Down on his luck. 
Does you he fuck. have shoelaces? He fucking makes. <laughs> Are you going to try and, and tie, tie them together? Oh shit, I'm gonna pull this actually. <laughs> that it would be Dex. Dex? Oh, that's your like. Is, your Dex is almost as good as mine. It's like plus three. three, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Plus three. Mine's One. plus three. Uh, we don't count that as on the floor. Shit. <laughs> I love them. That's still pretty good. Because it's just shoelaces, it's it's kind of easy. Kind of like tying like leaves together, which you had like practice with paper yeah. and everything. And you just tie them together. And the guy goes to get up, and then you go, run! <laughs> <laughs> and oh the, God, the, the table, like, oh, me. the table flips over, <laughs> and pe people look around to see the table. And I'm not even gonna g give them the chance to, unless you want to. Try and deck save out of this so you're out oh, of their side. Do that. Like, you can easily do that. 20, let's go! So, <laughs> yeah, that yeah, is unnatural that. 20! The second the table lands, oh my fucking before God. it makes a sound, you dash under another table. Oh, shit, dude! <laughs> fucking incredible. Perception wow. roll. 28, this one has like four. It has a, four, a party of four people. And it seems like that they're the half orc guards. Like, I want you to keep going. I wonder how long you can do this, actually. No, not for long. Not for much longer. Under the table. Like, do they have anything, like, stored right under the table? And, okay, I'll them? tell you that they they seem like that they're playing, like, a card game. They're playing with, with gold chips, so you know, they're sort of, like, off-duty stuff, having fun. And the only thing that you see under the table, so, uh, like, one of them has, like, a bag, and it's got, like, supplies in it. Is the bag near, like, touching his body? It's touching his foot. Is he wearing any shoes? Can, he is wearing, the, like, is, soldiers. Is this all happening foot. after the table flip, or before? After. Like, he da he dashed under a table the second the other table oh, made so a noise. Funny. Okay. I would want to try and steal something. Doesn't matter what, just something from the bag. I'm all for it, but, like, dude, this, like, it could get up. That is a sleight of hand check. Mine's pretty plus three. Yours should plus be three. Oh, yeah. yeah, it should be plus three. Once. Nearly. That's ten. <laughs> ten. You, you go to grab something, you, you're f f fooling around with it, and the, the, the guard just like, you, you feel his shoe, it's not kicking at you, it kicks the bag over, and you're like, nah, 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 I'm nah. not touching that. Um, do any of them have shoelaces? No, no, it's like that thick sort okay. of arm. Um, Army boots are like. I was originally meant to be steal sleeping. the guy with shoot like the human's pants just to like make it a thing. <laughs> that would have to be a nat twenty on a sleight of hand check. Yeah. Um. Go. Uh, okay, we're mm. gonna return to the guys <laughs> over there. So, Auntie, uh, you you notice with your passive perception that uh, some guys uh, like dropped o over and knocked over his table. I I I know this has something to do with fucking Porrick. So, do you, yeah. do you want me to walk? I was, say, wisdom. Should, I was suspicious of her earlier. So, roll. You're, sus you're suspicious, but that does not mean that you're. Like, you, you really she's still. She was suddenly back gone, back. and there's some table flipping over for unknown reasons. Oh, I'm oh, just oh, saying. You no, know, you know that a guy, like, tripped over and slammed on the table and it's just chipped over. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. 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 Right. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stealth and go into there. Oh my god. Because I've well, got- Well, like, like, plus five. Yep. No yes. Shit. Yes. Oh, That's right. why That's I'm doing like, it. Yep. This is, like, the fucking night. Like, mist pours in behind Auntie and- <laughs> Mine's still the best. Are you gonna try and steal shit too? No, I'm finding you! <laughs> and I'm gonna fucking punch you! It's gonna be hard. Like, she's been really lucky. Oh, I'm gonna pull I've been unlucky Nat, and lucky. Nat 20. Uh, okay, so Ro Roscoe and Gulfang, they're organized in the rooms. Gulfang turns around. Yeah, so you see he knows both. Well, he knows that um, thing is gone, but what about you? He's, he's di his distractions, um, his um, Wait, is he attention. He was organizing a room for me. He was organizing a. They were both organizing rooms for everyone. Oh, I might be able to sneak out of this without the. Oh, Holy shit, I'm knowing. I wasn't even up there. Yes. 10. Yours was an uh, unnatural 20, and hers was a nat 20, so it doesn't discover. Oh, no. Roscoe, though, he's sort, of, he's sort of looking at the room a bit, and sort of, like, looks, because of how he has been with this trade, um, 
in with this place. He looks at the half or guards and sort of, at the last second, like, he pro probably notices, like, you probably, like, as a joke, push one of their chair chairs around so it feels like some guys just, like, it's felt like one of the orcs just, like, just, like, eh, like, as a joke. And one yeah. of them just goes, oi! And oh, no. for a split second, your, your hand's exposed and you, like, the trousers are, like, <laughs> on, on the table somewhat, but for some reason the orc girls are just, like, oh, that's just, it's there, I guess. And Roska like dead in the eyes you see these brown piercing eyes <laughs> just stare into your soul <laughs> pretty fucking intimidating as you see a lightning bolt start to streak oh, through his <laughs> eyes <laughs> should I continue to try and steal things yeah, no, well, it all depends on your character really. I, 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 I don't know I, I'd say cheeky but uh one prank and nearly stealing something from a bag? That's good enough. Yeah, uh, Roscoe's gonna walk over to the uh, table of the hard oh, box and say- Oh, do you do a deck save? I yeah. bet you can get out of the ease. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, gonna, he's gonna try and persuade them. Oh, does it, I think he's got minus one to persuade them. Yes, he's what? got minus one like charisma. <laughs> Is he like me with bad persuasion? Yeah, his charisma's neg one. Yeah. Oh, yes. Shit. Yeah. I, I read all your things. Uh, he, yeah, he's persuaded. So he's like, I uh, do you mind if I just look at you under your table a bit? Yeah, the, they're just like, oh, uh, yeah, my mate's just like, oh, I think I um one of my mates dropped something down there, and he it looks next day. He like looks he under the table. No, he already knows that he's there, yeah. and he, he just stares at you and says, "Get to the fucking counter now, dude, stealth. <laughs> you can do it. You can. You're still stealth. He hasn't given a hold on. He has to. He has to roll stealth." Have I? No, that hasn't happened yet. I'm pretty he fast. He is somehow very fucking stealthy with this and says, Get in front of the counter now. Ro uh, How far roll, away? roll me charisma save. Oh, this is this is gonna be. Awesome. Hey, oh, you say <laughs> you're not intimidated by that. <laughs> Like, oh no. The, the fact that he's gone over here and just pointed at the counter, you're like, yeah. Yeah, there's some, there's something that you sort of just want to be a bit rebellious and sort of go, nah. Oh. <laughs> I just feel like your character would just wink at him and then, like, fuck up, like, <laughs> just a little whoop. I would like to wink, and then how far away is the counter? Gus, do I notice Roscoe? Uh, no, he's actually being pretty stealthy with this. God damn! Uh, how far away is the counter? The counter is, like, 15 foot away. I would like to wink and then try to stealth behind the counter. Oh shit. <laughs> I'll have to roll another- you'll have to roll another stealth check for that. I roll so a perception is, check too, by the way. One. Oh shit. Did you do stealth? Yeah, he's easy there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah another I'm unnatural 20. 20. Oh, never mind then. So, yeah, so <laughs> I love that though, that is shooting counter, you wink just wink wink back. And you, under the table, you somehow don't manage to like, creak any of the chairs, you just sort of like, a worm just sort of go, like the fucking, uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, yeah. I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> this is actually funny. <laughs> and you just seem to roll when you're behind the encounter where you see this sort of beaten up dwarf, the one that you pissed... you that you got dumb, that you pissed off before, and there's this just random human, like, helper at Osa at the counter. It's like, do they ever really gonna figure out where she is? <laughs> they don't know who she is. Oh shit! <laughs> They both rolled 14, and I'm just using basic NPC stats, so they all work then. Okay. To make it easy instead of having to roll shit! Oh, that is a 1, that is a 4, that is a 6. Uh, did Ross go nowhere? Yeah, I was gonna say. Ro is he, if it's a. He, uh, he, he still would like, know. Yeah. He was the. He, now that he's supposed to, he's like staring at you. Oh, God. Uh, is there any. Lootables behind the counter, like any desks that won't make any sound. He knows where you are. If you, you would have to roll a sleight of hand check because the dwarf is in the counter area and it would all be like right next to him. I mean, what it would be with mean? disadvantage like, as well. Like, you are, you have been a bit rebellious, but you think she'll continue or like you should. I would like to get up and hug the dwarf. Oh. Dude, he hates you. And then offer him three gold. Dude, why are you giving and tell him that I'm sorry? Roscoe picks you up. He, he like goes behind the counter. The handmaid's like, 
they can help him. Like, what, what are you doing, sir? And he, he then sees Roscoe with this fucking, like, clawed hand. <laughs> it just pick you up by the scruff of your shirt and lift you up and plops you outside the fucking counter. I'd still like to offer the dwarf three gold and tell Dude, him I'm sorry. What the fuck are you The dwarf was gold? just like, look, looks you up and down. Intelligence check. Twelve. Uh, okay. It is just like, do I know you from somewhere? You oh, look shit, a I'm bit familiar. <laughs> I can just say no and ask how much a drink is. Uh, a drink's like three copper. I thought we were like drink. Yeah, the, yeah, 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 just like you could have rounds and just like put one gold there. I would like to. That'll be like three eggs. Just like buy a round of drinks. Buy a round of drinks. Give one to uh, Roscoe and Sparrow. I'm not here. He's not here. Oh. That's, uh, why I haven't, the... that's why I haven't been asking him, because he's excited about the I mean, reveal. I was going to say, because I mean, if I saw you doing that stuff, I'll be like, my character would be like, oh shit, she's fun, let's try it, let's give it a shot. Um, <laughs> You're lawful neutral, though! You'd be like, this is absurd! Oh, no, I'm chaotic neutral. This is no, he's lawful. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> he would try to stop me. Yeah. If, 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 out of everyone, Sparrow should be the one that's trying to keep everyone in check, because everyone else is chaotic fucking neutral. <laughs> How many uh, were there at the table? It was four. I would like to get three of them drinks. Oh. So that would be so one to Roscoe. No, just like just oh, give just, those three to the dwarfs. Uh, so, so, so the the dwarfs like oh, all right. That's I really return to one. the counter. Golds, now I've got eight. Like, all right, and then he goes, Jimmy, deliver the drinks to that table over there. And he's like, yes, sir. And he goes into like this back room, which you somehow didn't notice. It's sort of next to the counter. Oh damn! I should have gone in there. <laughs> And you can tell, like, from the sounds, there, there is, a, you just hear, Hey, you domestic cheater! In the back of it. And then you hear a pan just, like, fly, it flies out of the fucking room, laying in the wall, and the dwarf flinches and says, Oi! Keep it quiet in there! <laughs> Roska is like, like yeah. now holding you by the scruff of your back. I, 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 I says, feel like you just like keep winking at uh, like you wink at that old I wink at like, Roska. Yeah, yeah, that would suit your character just like hello. Roska sighs and says, We're going to bed now. So I don't have to deal with any more of your shit today. <laughs>